Have a nice day, students. Today we discuss about the cytoplasm. So, what is the cytoplasm? Cytoplasm is the liquid which is present inside the cell. We call them cytoplasm. This is the cell. This cell is having a nucleus in the center, and between the nucleus and the nu cell membrane, the liquid is present. Is called the cytoplasm. This is the cytoplasm, and. Inside the cell, the structure is present. We call them nucleus. Both are combined. Is known as protoplasm. Protoplasm. In the cytoplasm, there are the two type of structure present, or they can divide in two two parts. First, we call them cytosol. The liquid which is present in the cytoplasm, we call them cytosol, and the component of the cell and structure of the cell we call them cell organelles cell organelles it means they are the component of the cell and they having a specific functions we call them cell organelle so first of all we discuss about the first cell organelle endoplasmic reticulum endoplasmic reticulum present in plant cell as well as in animal cell it is absent in the bacterial cell The endoplasmic reticulum first time reported by Porter, Claude, and Fuller. These scientists reported this network-like structure in the cell. This is the network-like in the cell. So, what is the endoplasmic retic reticulum? So, first of all, we discuss about it. This structure having the three components. First. Cisterni. What are the cisterni? Cisterni are the platinum tubules. These are the cisternies. This structure is known as the cistern. This is the cisterni. It is platinum tube-like structures. We call them cisternies. Another structure we call them vesicles. And third one is known as the tubules. These three structures are formed the endoplasmic reticulum. these endoplasmic reticulum are present between the nucleus and the cell membrane this is the cell membrane it have the nucleus the endoplasmic reticulum is present between the nucleus and the endoplasmic reticulum just like a network or this network is helpful in the formation of cytoskeleton cytoskeleton is the structure which is provide the mechanical support to the cell this A structure having the ribosomes on its surface. If the ribosomes are present on outer surface of this endoplasmic reticulum, is called rough endoplasmic reticulum. It means we can divide the endoplasmic reticulum on the basis of presence of ribosomes in two type. First one is called the smooth endoplasmic reticulum. This is smooth endoplasmic reticulum, which is without. ribosomes another is we call them rough endoplasmic reticulum it having the ribosomes on its outermost surface so let us we discuss about the types of endoplasmic reticulum so there are two type of endoplasmic reticulum first is called the smooth endoplasmic reticulum or S E R. It is without ribosomes. Without ribosomes, it means it performs the function, a specific function. Uh, it means it help in the formation of lipids and cholesterol in the cell. Second one we call them rough endoplasmic reticulum. Rough endoplasmic reticulum. is called r e r it perform a specific function because it having the ribosomes on its surface so it can synthesize or form the protein in the cell so it is responsible for the formation of proteins so these are the two types of endoplasmic reticulum present in animal cell and plant cells cisternies we have already discussed cisternies are the tubular structure flattened tubule and branched structures present in the endoplasmic reticulum while the vesicles vesicles are the vesicles are the rounded circular spherical structures 
and third one is called the tubules tubules are the tube like structure which is responsible for the formation and then transportation of molecules inside the cell so what are the functions of endoplasmic reticulum so endoplasmic reticulum function perform the some specific function it is responsible for the membrane biogenesis it means it responsible for the membrane formation in the cell another important function performed by the endoplasmic reticulum that is the it is responsible for the formation of proteins and lipid in the cell these are the some important functions of endoplasmic reticulum now we discuss about the other functions of endoplasmic reticulum it is also help in the detoxification of molecules ser smooth endoplasmic reticulum also help in the detoxification of the molecules in the cell it is also responsible for the secretions of various bio molecules in the cell so this is the endoplasmic reticulum here this is the cell organelle which is present in all plant and animal cell except the bacterial cell because bacteria is a prokaryotic cell now second cell organelle we discuss here we call it the golgi body or golgi apparatus or golgi complex why we call it the golgi body because first time it is reported by camillo golgi so we call it the golgi body it also made up of three structure first cistern is second vesicles and third one is tubules the golgi body having the flat tubules like a structure we call them cistern is these are the cistern is these structure we call them cistern is these cistern is are flat tube like structure so cistern is having the flat tubules like a structure and while the vesicles are the spherical structures and tubules tube like structures if we combinedly form the whole structure this is the structure will be golgi body these are the cisternies these cisternies having the vesicles so these are the spherical bodies are called the vesicles they are responsible for the storage of various biomolecules and they having the fine tubules also so these are the tubules which is responsible for the transportation of molecules in the cell golgi body present in animal cell as well as plant cell in the animal cell it is called golgi body while in plant cell it having the another name we call them dictyosomes in case of bacterial cell it is absent its number also depend on the functions of the cell if the cell require more secretion of molecules and proteins so they having the more number of golgi bodies in their structure so the functions of golgi body golgi body help in the formation of lipids in the cell it is responsible for the modifications of molecules or biomolecules and proteins it is responsible for the secretions of biomolecules from the cell secretions of biomolecules biomolecules the molecule which is synthesized or form inside the cell we call them biomolecules such as proteins lipids and fat are the biomolecules which is form inside the cell it also help in the formation of melanin pigment which is responsible for the skin color in the human beings melanin pigment now another important function in the case of golgi body it is also help in the formation of packaging and formation of biomolecules it is responsible for packaging of biomolecules golgi body also help in the formation of acrosomes in the sperms acrosomes acrosomes are the tap like structure present on the sperms it is present on the cap like structure on the sperms they are responsible for the penetration of a it having the some enzymes we call them hyaluronidase enzymes which is responsible for the penetration or entry of the acrosomes or amalgamate inside the cell the the golgi body and endoplasmic reticulum is responsible for the formation of phragmoplast in the case of plant cell phragmoplast are the structures or fragments 
which is responsible for the formation of cell wall in the plant cell during the cytokinesis. Cytokinesis it means the division of cytoplasm in the cell division whenever the cells are divided. This phenomena is called the cytokinesis. In the cytokinesis, the cell wall is formed with the help of these pregnoplasts. Suppose this is the plant cell, it having the cell division. During the cell division, the cell division form, uh, cell plate is formed and this cell plate is formed in the form, form of fragments or pieces. So these are the pregnoplasts. They are made up of Golgi body and endoplasmic reticulum ER. Both are combinedly from the Fragmoplast, which is responsible for the formation of cell wall. This is the Golgi body. It is another important cell organelle in the cell. We discussed the third one important cell organelle. We call the mitochondria. What is the mitochondria? First of all, the mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. It is responsible for the production of energy in the cell. So we call them power plant of the cell also. Mitochondria first time reported by Kaliker and its name is given by famous scientist Benda. This structure is present in plant cell as well as in animal cell both. But it absent in the bacterial cell. In bacteria there is no mitochondria. So the all respiratory activities occur in the bacteria and the cytoplasm. This is the structure of mitochondria. Mitochondria having the two membrane. We call them outer membrane and inner membrane. Two membranes are there. So, first membrane we call them outer membrane. Outer membrane, this is the outer membrane of the mitochondria. This is the outer membrane. It having the minute pore on this its surface. The, uh, having the, some proteins, we call them porines. Proteins are present in the outer membranes. This is the inner membrane. Inner membrane become enfolded here and form a structure we call them Christi. This is the Christi. This is the Christi structure. It is the, this Christi is formed by the enfolding of inner membrane. Whenever the inner membrane enfold, it forms the Christi. And this structure is responsible for the formation of ATPs in the cell. In the case of inside the mitochondria, in this area, mitochondria having the matrix or liquid. This liquid is known as the matrix. Matrix having the many type of enzymes which is responsible for the respiratory mechanism. In the matrix of the mitochondria, the most important event is occur. We call it the cellular respiration or aerobic respiration. In the case of matrix of the mitochondria, it contains the 70S ribosomes which is the prokaryotic feature of the cell. Why we call it prokaryotic feature? Because bacterial cell having bacterial cell having the 70s ribosomes. Another it it having the DNA segments also. Due to the presence of both the things, the back, mitochondria is considered as a semi-autonomous cell. Why we call it the semi-autonomous cell organelle? Because due to the presence of these things. presence of these things, this organelle is capable to formation of some proteins for it. Now, another important thing, in the matrix, this is the place for the for, uh, uh, Krebs cycle. What is the meaning of Krebs cycle? So, Krebs cycle is the process in which the ATP molecules are formed. ATP oblique and ADPS2 molecules are formed. Are formed during the cellular respiration. In this process, the glucose molecule become oxidized. This is the cell. Cell having the mitochondria in the structures. The glucose molecule C6 as 12 and O6 it become oxidized in the presence and absence of oxygen. It means in the present aerobic condition or anaerobic condition. This glucose molecule convert into the pyruvate and then this pyruvate enter into the mitochondria. This is the mitochondria of the cell. In the mitochondria, this pyruvic acid convert into the through a cyclic process convert into the CO2, which is expired during the or discharge during the breathing, and water is present, uh, produced, which is utilized inside the cell, and energy is produced. Energy is produced in the form of ATP and NADP. These energy molecules 
ATP and NADPH2 are formed during the cellular respiration. These ATP molecules are formed inside the mitochondria. So this is the mitochondrial structure. Mitochondria having the two membrane. This is the outer membrane. We call it the outer membrane. It having the another membrane. We call it. It is in fold and form a structure. We call them cristae. This is the cristae. Cristae bearing the oxygens. So this structure is known as the cristae or infolding of the inner membrane. This is the cristae. This cristae is formed due to the infolding of inner membrane. These cristae bearing a specific structure we call them oxygens. These oxygens are responsible for the formation of ATP molecule inside the cells. The liquid which is present inside this structure we call them. We call the matrix. This is known as the oxygens. This is the outer membrane. And this is the inner membrane. It having the DNA also, a small piece of DNA is present and 70s ribosomes also present here. These are the 70s ribosomes. They are present in the mitochondria. This piece which is present between two membrane of the mitochondria, we call them perimitochondrial space. We call them perimitochondrial space. So, what is the role of mitochondria in the cell? So, it is responsible for the production of energy in the cell. So, we call it the power plant of the cell. In this process, it produces energy in the form of ATP, NADP, and ADS2. These two molecules are the energy molecules inside the cell, which are used in the various metabolic activities. So they are also called the batteries, storage batteries of the cells also. And another important process we call it already Krebs cycle. It also occur and takes place inside the mitochondria matrix. So this is. Cellular mitochondria is completed here. Super. Yeah, the mobile.